so when the chick starts to hatch, it comes out on that side. So. Raising young birds is a lot of work. Zookeepers, we talk a lot about conservation, talk a lot about field work, but actually getting out and doing those projects out in the field, that is what, what everything's about. It's always great to see them be able to really spread their wings and fly. And hopefully they will come back next year to those grounds to start their little families. The whole recovery effort really was dependent on being able to work out of the University of Michigan Biological Station because it's situated right at the tip of the lower peninsula of Michigan, which is the, the heart of where plovers were nesting for a number of years. We, in, I believe, 1986, we were down to 17 pairs, breeding pairs in the wild. And since then, I believe right now, above 80 active pairs. We've had a big jump in numbers. That's over a long time period, but a recovering population is, is very slow and there are lots of threats. We have more problem with predators. Uh, they are snatching the parents and in that case, the eggs are abundant. So we grab those eggs, bring them to the station, incubate them, make sure the chicks hatch out well, and then they, we take care of them. The population is expanding and spreading out, and so we're trying to get as many eggs as we can because every bird counts. After they hatch, they uh, are with us for about 25 to 35 days. We're weighing everybody, recording weights, recording their percentage weight gains or losses, and then kind of determining how much that we feed. Before release, the real key is make them wild. We want them out in rain. We want them out when the temperatures have dropped. We want them with wind and it, uh, even better if there's some lightning and some good storms going on so that they're, they have seen the night sky, they know what the real world is all about. We've been banning plovers since the late 90s and then we can track it through its life cycle where it winters, where if it breeds, where it breeds. All right, little buddies, good luck. It really is a great feeling and to know that hopefully they're gonna have a good year and, and survive and come back and add more little plovers to our Great Lakes beaches. That seems like a real success to me.